So I'm holding two wonderful mushrooms that were grown by the Oregon Mycological Society, and we're going to be chatting today with Ed, who's going to give us a quick synopsis of what they do and how they do it. Ed, you know, it, there really are some specific steps that you go through, and I see a bunch of straw here. It looks wet to me. I'm assuming that's the beginning process, is, is getting things prepared for the spores. That's correct. We make up our spawn or purchase it, and then we take wheat straw and chop it fine, put it in bags of this sort, mm -hmm. and then place it in barrels of heated water and pasteurize it for one hour at a temperature of 165 to 185. And that's really just to get it ready for the spores, right? That's correct. Then we dump, they, we dump it out and drain and cool it and then pack it into bags. And that's what Lisa's doing now. Now, you're not just putting it back in the bag. She's actually mixing the spores with it as She's she goes. She's going to put the spawn. Uh, don't, uh, don't mistake spores for spawn. That is grain spawn with mycelium running on the surface of the grain. Uh -huh. Sometimes spores are involved. Mostly it's a cloning process that involves taking a bit of tissue from a, uh, a donor mushroom and running it on a plate of agar agar uh -huh. that's been neutrified. Then it's put into grain and produces what we call grain spawn. Well, now, straw is not the only way to do this. You also, I see a couple of different types of, of wood down here that they're working on. Tell us quickly about That's those. That's right. We're using log cultivation as another mechanism. These are non-sterile practices that we can do out in the open like this without laboratory conditions. Logs and straw bags are classic for our kind of work. That's. Uh, uh, that's a collection of oak, alder, and maple logs. We're putting in shiitake uh, sawdust pond into slices along the log, and we're going to cap the ends with a sandwich of spawn to add an, an, an ingredient of really inoculation. Really covering running. the whole log then. We get lots of middle. fast running into the sap wood and, and, and fairly rapid colonization and fruiting. That's and correct. what's the difference between what you're doing at the end down the there? The end, we're using a different approach. It's called uh, uh, spawn plugs. They are mm -hmm. birch. Uh, or similar wood plugs with either flutes or spirals on them that have been inoculated with the, spa with the uh, mushroom, mycelium, and they're tapped into pre-drilled holes. We use about 27 plugs per two-foot log like that. They take up to 16 months to fruit, but they'll give you mushrooms on oak of that nature for up to seven years. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I think a lot of people are intimidated by growing these things, but they're really not that difficult. There are some specific steps which you guys are more than willing to share and, and you know, have people come in and, and learn this process. Well, we encourage people to, to join our group, uh, the Oregon Mycological Society, and receive this kind of instruction. We have the equipment as a group. Uh, we teach this to our members at charge only for cost of materials. Mm -hmm. These courses cost a great deal of money on the outside. If you go to a private uh, instruction facility or somebody that's offering these courses, they're way too expensive for most of our members. So we do what we know how to do. We've learned this over the years. Uh, we follow uh, procedures that are well documented in literature. One of the things I really like too is you get a lot of your stuff from this company. It's in, in Corvallis? Northwest Mycological. Yes, John Donahue is well known in the field. He's spent a lot of time overseas promoting mushroom uh, cultivation in developing countries. He just came back from Vietnam and he's going over again. They're, they're working very hard to develop a good market and production facility for shiitake. Shiitake is the most popular Asian mushroom, as you're probably aware and it's fairly simple to grow compared to others. These mushrooms, by the way, are called primary decomposers. They grow on woody substrates, meaning wood like you see, logs, uh -huh. and or straw. So this is the easiest uh, medium to work with, and that's why we do it as a group. And on the logs, these can last anywhere from three to five years, depending on the care you get Depending on how often you fruit them, these logs can be soaked on a regular basis up to five times per year. We recommend less because that lengthens the, ex the extent of log. I do mine three times a year wow. in spring, late summer, and early fall. My alder logs last about three to four years, oak logs five to seven. And uh, you'll get uh, five pounds of mushrooms off a log in its lifetime. It's a wow. lot of fun. And I, and being a lover of mushrooms, that's very exciting for me. You know, there's a lot of information here. Certainly not anything that we can cover in four minutes. But uh, if you want to find out more information, we invite you to go to Garden Time. And then, of course, then you would have to go to Garden Time and talk to Ed here to figure out what this is about because it's, it's not just scary. There is a purpose for it. Ed, this is really fascinating. Thank you so much for your time. And, uh, you know, I look forward okay, to uh, starting my own mushroom field now. <laughs> Thank you.